Uh, well, I'm finna, I'm finna, uh, Don't, like, uh, yeah, one thing. I'm finna do the merch. One thing. Hmm. Stop collabing. I ain't collab with nobody yet. You do be doing collab. You did the collab with somebody. Well, who? I ain't, ain't doing collab, collab with nobody. nobody. Zero people. I could have swear. People keep done. asking me though. I, don't do no I haven't done it with nobody yet. I don't do collabs neither. I don't do no collabs. Bro, honestly, you took the cut though shit to a whole new level though, bro. For real, for real. Yeah. Like for real, bro. <laughs> like nigga, look, you cutting so down right now. Yeah, this all cut though right here. Oh God, that's a fact, man. We need we need the AD merch, man. My For shit, real. you know, I had to the switch AD it up because my shit was gang banged. You yeah. feel me? I limited myself. <laughs> my oh, shit was called Two CC Baby, bro. Everybody <laughs> can't wear that yeah. shit, cuz. Yeah. You feel me? Oh, God. <laughs> nah, for real. Two everybody CC Baby. Bro, yeah. You really was in store trying to die. Bro, it's a logo. Oh, he was serious. Nah, he was dead ass. Uh, I sold out though. Nah, exactly. But I don't want to get good. nobody pop cup because my politics. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, that's a fact. Oh God. And that's only gonna limit it. To, that's only gonna limit to like the, the <laughs> niggas that you CC really. <laughs> look, that's only gonna. That's limit... the name of my LLC. You crazy? Uh, that is, huh? <laughs> but look, that's only gonna limit yourself to like the people that you fuck with and the people that fuck with you. Facts. More than like, bro. You know how many? I be going through our Instagram follow. It's so many people that don't follow me on Instagram that just follow Hyrule. That seen it randomly. But the thing is, it's not. It's like it's not even about like differentiating yourself. No, it's not like that's why I was telling my boy because he got like some shit that's like hood sounding like that too. Mm -hmm. But in a sense, you don't even have to change the name. But how yeah. does it sound in another language? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it'll probably roll yeah. off the tongue better, and it'll probably be abbreviated better. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, like That's some shit, niggas bro. just go for a name instead of thinking about a different language. It's just different ways you can do brands and yeah. names and shit. You know what I mean? And I, it's the same thing. No, I've been doing fact. this shit for 11 years. You know what I'm no, saying? Like, that, that, was, that was real bars right there. No, that's some real shit, bro. Like that. That's real yeah. bars right there. Oh God, that's man. fire. Yeah, man. I mean, shit. I got some hats coming though. Nah, for sure. You got to collab with with Stolen Youth, man. I am. Nah, for sure, for sure. Oh no, Joey said no more collabs. Oh there God, we go. Look, he, you got to collab. He's like, nigga, what? <laughs> okay, he just I told you, you no more collabs. Wait, wait, you got to collab, like, bro. Yeah. I lied, I lied. I did do a fitted collab. I told collab. you, I knew you're that right, I did you're see right, a collab. You're right, you're right. Yeah. I did do a fitted collab collab, and you know what? Like they did not that they didn't do that well, but like having to split it up and all that, it was it was stupid. It's not worth it. It was stupid. I could have made my own like. Fit had to something hard to do yeah. from the jump anyway, cause y'all wasn't y'all yeah. wasn't getting them wholesale. I'm pretty no, sure y'all was fuck buying. No, them. fuck no, fuck yeah. no. See, I'm getting I'm gonna get my shit wholesale. But we had to sell them for like two hundred dollars to even like. Yeah, I don't and, know. and who's like? I can't be no brand like that. Can I never know. be me. I know, bro. It's like man, can it, never rip off youth like that. I know it was you hard. Should, bro. You should feel ashamed. Did you think so? <laughs> <laughs> How much is your shoes, by the way? Two twenty five. Oh, that's good. That's, that's good. Cool. That's good. That's cool. That's cool. That yeah, that and that's why I was like, bro. Like, sorry, I ain't trying to shit on my nigga, but like, go ahead. You know. No, no, like, no, no. Nah, I, I got I'm, this nigga hat on right now. I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, with, with this specific collab, it was like, I was like, nigga. We're still waiting on one. I can't fucking. What, what, you bought you bought one of those? Bro, like so long ago. <laughs> See? The nigga that be coming here. Can, that nigga be coming here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all the time. I'm on that nigga. Bro. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. I ain't even going to put the nigga on blast. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Now, no, no, no. We not. No. Cut. Hey, dinner with me. What was you saying? Bro? <laughs> all right, bro. All right. Cut shit about the BRB. Right, I stopped right. talking about him. Yeah, no, no, no. That's the homie. That's the homie. shit about him. That's the homie. It was cool, but I didn't want to price. The shit is so high because I'm like, nigga, if our shoes is two twenty five, I don't want to sell a hat for two hundred. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. it's like I want to kind of all keep it. But then I did like a, like I just made some custom like North Faces, bro. I was selling them shits for the high. I didn't even, I didn't even want to sell it for that high, but I kind of had to because it because buying a blank North Face by itself is you like, a fake fashion finesse. Why you say that? <laughs> no, he's <laughs> on this nigga's bumper. Damn, it's like it's crazy. The shift in culture that's happened in the last, you know, 20, 30 years or something like that. You know, I'm I'm very appreciative. You know, a lot of people, you know, when we talk about, you know, America and we talk about just, you know, the culture and how, you know, slavery and all that shit and how it's just, you know, turned the world into what it is right now. Honestly, when I look at shit like this, I'm like, damn, like we probably wouldn't we probably would have something like this. We probably wouldn't at the same time. And that's what I love. That's what I love about this culture because people like Joey Fats can be able to, you know, have these, you know, small, not even small career. I'm not even going to put that on him. But, you know, he cannot be in the mainstream world and he can still, they can still have a big impact. 
you know, him doing the whole cutthroat and this, you know, these clips is just, uh, I just love going through these clips, y'all. Just because he's right, you know, he, he gave, he gave like great branding and uh, merch, you know, just little, just little gems there, just so you can be able to expand it. And, you know, I think maybe that's what I'm here for. Maybe I'm here to expand on that, but, you know, to get this knowledge now, especially with like things like, you know, on your leisure, you know, you know, um, trap, um, Wall Street Trapper, you know, Ian Dump on Dunlap and all that, Dunlap, my bad. Um, doing, doing, seeing all these people and all these uh, different outlets that are teaching everyone how to like grow and how to succeed and how to like be more than just a worker. That's crazy. So please like, subscribe. Before I get into this video, please like, subscribe, comment, do what all you have to do. Um, it, it helps. It really does help. It helps me. It helps the algorithm. It helps, you know, push the narrative of just creativity and just not sticking to just the daydream. We need to get to the day drip part because the day drip part is where all that thinking and all that, you know, brainstorming goes into effect. Let's get into it. So in this, so shout out to No Jumper, you know, shout out to No Jumper, shout out to Adam, shout out to, you know, Lil House Phone, AD, uh, all of them. Thank, um, Thank you guys for, you know, doing what you guys do, giving the content and everything so I can be able to comment on the content and hopefully, you know, make something out of it or expand people's minds about it. But, you know, Joey Facts really, you know, it's it's funny how he went at a little house phone, but he really dropped some gems. So when it came to, you know, learning about your brand name and stuff, because, you know, I want to use that as an example. I'm using my brand Daydream Daydrip as an example. What if your brand name doesn't work? You know, we see with AD, he did the, um, he did the 2CC baby, you know, that's a gang, you know, gang politics type of name and stuff like that. So it's like him having that will put people at odds because think about it. If I, get, if I went around, um, LA or any round, any, anywhere around this world and I'm, and I have a Nazi symbol on my shirt even if it's like spells out something different. Like, I don't know if anyone remembers from um, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, how Frank had his sign and it was obviously, you know, she should look like the, you know, Nazi symbol. He, <laughs> that's, that's insane. But, you know, stuff like that doesn't work. Stuff like that, it gets people confused. You, people will think you're racist. You can't really have something like, you know, people getting beaten or hurting or just, just something that is inappropriate, you know? So something like gang culture, I couldn't have, you know, you know, um, GDK t-shirts and just be going around saying GDK, BDK, whatever. I, that's going to get me in trouble. That's going to, and that's what AD said. He's like, people do not, <laughs> people are getting hurt and I don't want them to get hurt over their, over my politics. Honestly, the people that are really going to buy it have to be from his um, set, have to be Crip and willing to die over, you know, that brand, that name. But what but what Joey even said was even a, a great tip because he said it. He's like, well, try it in a different language, try it in a different name. And I know a lot of people are going to say like, hey, 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 you're appropriating languages and using these people, this and that, using that, that, that. I think there's a way where you can be respectful and not, you know, and not do much. And that's, and that's the thing. Maybe if it's not, if it's not, um, the whole doing your, um, what's it called? If it's not, if it's not using a different language to describe it, like I can't put daydream and make it into the Japanese word and then use that as the branding because it's going to be like, oh, is this a Japanese company or this is American company? You're African. Like it's going to be confused and it's going to look messy. It's going to look insensitive. And we even seen with other celebrities with Kim Kardashian, with, you know, many of them who tried to appropriate, appropriate cultures that aren't theirs and it doesn't go well. So I think it, the way to counteract that would be just to, you know, use symbolism because he was right. You use try different languages, different symbols, you know, even if it's like, you know, because for me, I was raised on Japanese culture, you know, not even raised on it. But like I like from seventh grade and up, I was in 
immersed into it. Animes, you know, you know, hentai, all all that stuff. I I, I I dove deep into it, even the old stuff. And it was just like, I saw a lot of symbolisms, a lot of things that I could relate to that, you know, went into my life. You know, whether, you know, me watching Naruto as a kid, me seeing all the different uh, headband signs for the uh, uh, Leaf Village, the Sand Village, the uh, Village Hidden in the Sound. It's just, you know, just using those symbols t told a whole story to me. They um, they connected to me. They they made me feel a part of the brand, part of the story, you know, and that's and that's and that's kind of what you can do with your brand. You know, with daydream, daydream, daydrip. You know, when you think of daydreaming, most people think, oh, yeah, someone that's just staring out in space ain't, you know, just thinking, thinking, just lost, lost in their thoughts and their memory. For me, I'm using it as in D-E-Y instead of D-A-Y as in daydream, daydream, daydream. You know, you're going <laughs> you, you gonna to hear it in there, you know, any... If you don't get it, I'm sorry, but you know, hopefully you'll get cultured by the time you even <laughs> um someone could help you, hopefully. But um we see with daydream, day drip, you know, automatically people and even the um the signs, if you look on this video and stuff, you're gonna see the cloud, the um the drop, and the lightning bolt. Those three symbols are very important to me because they, you know, they represent what this message is about they dream they drip when they drip they create when they dream they drip and when they drip they create it's all a process so they dream that may, making the daydream into the cloud shows that makes people connect thoughts to connect floating to connect you know being light on your feet or just brainstorming anything you're gonna you know thunderstorm yeah you're gonna think of storming in some way so when i say daydream you're like damn yeah we it is like a storm in my head it is like a cloud in my brain and all surrounding me and when you think of day drip you think of oh shit i got that shit out it dropped when something finally hits you something <laughs> when something finally hits you when something finally drops you you feel that and it and then that leads to the spark that leads to the day create because that spark is what everyone has you hear it everywhere everyone's like what sparked that creativity what sparked that idea what sparked that you know drive in you it's because they had to they had to think about it they had to brainstorm they had to daydream it then they had to then they had to make it drip they mean they had to make it go they had to make it connect that's what the drop was and the spark is the creation it's the creation so seeing on um, joey fats even talk about you know using different languages and everything or different symbolism to you know show what you um to um to express your brand to express your ideas and stuff it always works because symbols are always going to be uh universally universally we'll we'll all be able to figure out what you're trying to say now look at look at the egyptians all their symbols is just like oh crazy this and that you may but once you like look go through the alphabet and look at it you're going to be like damn like some of these actually make sense it's like makes sense why this bird looks like this or this symbol looks like that or you know and of course a lot of stuff that just you know if you're if you're not raised in that culture of course it's going to look like mumble jumble just the way if someone wasn't raised in the english language they're going to be like like what like what is all this like what like what like what they're, they're gonna it's gonna be weird seeing all these like different characters are writing and that and that is great because that is you know how we're going to expand our minds and expand the world in a greater form really we're going to be doing that we're going to be able to you know tell each other like hey there is a different way to do this that isn't just the norm you know we don't have to be the same you know v loans or the same off whites or the same you know you know louis vuittons and all that stuff gucci's we don't have to do we don't have to be that same brand we can be our own brand we can stick out and we can create something that you know makes a difference it actually connects you know so he did say that and then also just about you know collabs when he talked about doing collabs with people i was like i'm on the fence about it just because i feel like if you're just starting your brand out you definitely shouldn't, you know, be collabing because there's nothing for anyone to hold. Yes, if you're collabing with a bigger brand, if you can get, you know, Gucci or Louis Vuitton or um, V-Loan or something to, you know, be like, hey, you can put 
RV on your shirts. You can put our Gucci tag on your shirts and you can sell them. That's going to propel you. But as far as, you know, with, you know, regular brands or just brands in your same level, there's not really anything to give. You know, brands that are lower than you, there's definitely nothing to give. But even on the same level, at least at least those people on the same level will be able to give you like, hey, I can get your fans, we can get my fans, we can collab and make some money out of it and hopefully create something bigger. But I kind of agree with him. Like if you're just starting out and you're trying to build out your brand, you're trying to make your name, having someone else's name attached is only going to hurt you. Having another brand attached is only going to make people probably not be interested in you, but be interested in that other brand, you know? There's a lot of brands. That's why when people say, like, when um, when you see these big celebrities, like, use Beyonce. Beyonce is a great example because she even said it in a song. I need that equity. I need that equity. You can't, you can't just use my name. You can't, even if it's Louis Vuitton, even if it's Adidas, even if it's Nike with Jordan, like, like you can't use my likeness and not and not, and I can't get something out of it because my 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 likeness is what's going to elevate this brand. When Beyonce says, you know, when she said OnlyFans and Demon Time, guess what happened to OnlyFans and Demon Time on that on there? Yep, it went up. It went crazy. Everyone knows. Like, so you collabing and you and you not having your own name, your own marketing, your own, you know, brand, it's not it's not helping you. You need to build yourself up. You need to, you know, carry the torch for a while to be like, hey, I I believe in this. I am pushing this. There's no there because that's the whole thing. People want to, I think fans want to see that you care about it first. You know? With anything. You gotta be the if if everyone leaves, they need to see that, hey. You the one that you're you you the creator. You're the one who's still sticking here. You're the one who cares about this child. You care about us who supported you, and we want to see your dreams go up. We want to see you go big. You know. And I feel like there's no need for there's no need for the for the um. Hmm. I feel like we can collab, but it has to make sense. We need to, it needs to, it needs to make sense. It needs to actually do something to help every, uh, everyone in the situation. And it has to be good quality as well. Honestly, because me, I'm, you see these shoes, you know, they may look like a Nike. <laughs> yeah, I know it may, may look like a Nike shoe and everything, but like, this this shirt, this design, this is my own design. This is my own. Like I took a shoe template and I was just like, hey, let me, you know, rework this shit. And now I'm not even going to tell y'all the name of it. But, you know, y'all can look on Instagram on my Instagram. I'm, I might put it up just so y'all can be able to see it. But, you know, I've made it. I've made it into, you know, this is my own brand. This is like something that can even years, years down the line, no one's gonna be able to, when they look at these videos and they watch this, they're gonna be like, Daydream, Daydrip was not, you know, it wasn't anyone else's. You know, it was ours, it is the fans, it is the people, and that's what I want this brand to be. I want this to be, you know, a collective, but no, no outside entity can destroy what we made. No outside entity can break this in part and say that no you didn't do this this you didn't do that this is all us or we have a piece or a part to play in y'all growth and y'all seed and and don't get me wrong there's always you know growth there's always people that are going to help you in your journey and help you grow but you know you have to be the one to push the pedal you have to be the one to turn the key to turn the car on and they are they are the ones that have to decide whether to get in that car with you and that's all i gotta say y'all it's it's really not that much to talk um, to go on. I'm just like, yeah, if you if you want to be able to take control of your life, if you want to have more responsibilities, if you want to be able to, you know, figure out what you want to do in life, man, you know, there's all these different resources. There's all these different possibilities. You know, I, I, I'm using TubeBuddy. Click that TubeBuddy link. I'm going to have all that stuff all at the bottom, you know, click, like, subscribe, you know. <sighs>
this is a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. This is the best time because we can be able to create stuff. We can be able to have an impact and we can be able to um, show each other that not everything is a dream. Not everything is a daydream. And there is a light at this tunnel. There is a spark at this tunnel and we're gonna we're all gonna get there you guys so you know thank you guys for watching if you got through this whole video please like subscribe comment please tell me what it is you think do you think you know we should do collabs do you think you know uh what was it you know and do you think we should rename if you have a bad name or something like that do you think we should throw it away or should you rename it you know i want to know it's daydream where they dream they drip when they drip they create it's all a process Y'all have a good night. Peace. <laughs>